Hello everyone, I'm Rusov Popov. I will show you how to install uh, Node.js on a regular Android device. This is uh, a normal device, I don't have uh, root access here and uh, normal uh, bash prompt. So first uh, I have to install a terminal emulator. Let's start from the Play Store and uh, find what we have, terminal emulators. There are various uh, here. Mm, I, I tested the first two, but I had a problem with that one because it uh, doesn't recognize uh, my keyboard very well, so I, I was not uh, possible to write uh, in the terminal. So I used this uh, TermUX. It's uh, free to install and uh, very easy to use. Okay, it's installing and it must be ready. Let's run it. Okay, I'm here. I'll zoom in that uh, prompt uh, to be easier to see. This is what we have here. LS, nothing. So, uh, this uh, terminal emulator comes with an uh, uh, application uh, package manager and it's apt. There are several commands. The first one is uh, apt update. But, uh, but uh, this uh, apt update up uh, date okay uh, the apt update doesn't update the packages it uh, just downloads the the information for the latest packages and uh, updates the caches so i will run it and it uh, fetches the information now i first i will use uh, apt upgrade to upgrade uh, the already installed packages here. I agree. So, um, my system is ready and uh, I will start with, uh, I will install actually three things. The first is uh, uh, text editor. I will use uh, Vim uh, apt install Vim. Okay, I like it. Um, let's see, okay, this is uh, Vim version 8, this is the latest version. Next, I will install Node.js. Mm. apt install Node.js. Okay, now installing, this is I see version 6.9.3, this is almost the latest version, the, the latest current version is 6.9.5, this, uh, this version will work very well. And uh, the last thing it will be, uh, I will install uh, wget apt w apt install that will get it's very useful to get various things and also to test our application let's see what we have already apt list dash dash uh, installed So we have uh, wget, we have uh, vim, and we have, uh, where is our node.js? Okay, we have uh, node.js. We are ready to go. First, uh, I'll make a folder for our application and uh, make uh, dir and let's be app. Okay, change directory to app. Uh, we don't have anything here. Let's clear the screen with uh, Control L. So uh, I'll first, uh, uh, of course, we can do, uh, we can make a Node.js application without a package, uh, the file package uh, dot uh, JSON, but uh, npm will complain. So I'll use first uh, npm 
init command to create uh, the package JSON uh, for us. Okay, the name of the application is up, version one, description, what is the description? It will be up. Entry point, index JS, uh, test command, I write here something. Uh, because uh, if you don't have a test command and the repository, it complains. Keyword, I don't need, author, don't need license. Is it okay? Yes, it's okay. Vim pack package dot JSON. JSON. And this is our, this is our package file. Uh, we don't have uh, dependencies and uh, we will install express and here we, we see our first problem because I'm using the mm, the Vim editor and uh, it has uh, two registers insert and uh, normal mode uh, but I don't have a uh, escape key here on that keyboard so I'll show you some tricks we can use the up volume volume up key and when you press it a volume and e it's secure to escape so i'll exit the the editor oops i'm in insert why come on here mm, volume volume up and e for escape okay um right and uh, exit okay so mm, we have uh, uh, several combinations with uh, the volume up key and for example volume up with t is tap volume up with e is escape and uh, volume up with w is uh, mm, up arrow so we are ready to install our first dependency it will be Mm, express let's go npm install express and now when when you usually when you use uh, install it uh, installs our package and also all uh, its uh, dependencies but I don't want uh, to install the the development uh, dependency of uh, this express so I will use uh, dash only echo to production I uh, write prod so I hope it will install only the production uh, dependencies of express because I don't uh, want to run its uh, uh, unit tests uh, for example or to have uh, v various um, gulp uh, scripts and something like that let's uh, see what we have here npm list uh, oops not dash depth equal to zero and we have error express why is that because uh, I forgot to use the the save command to our uh, install so okay I'll, I'll repeat that I will use up arrow and W twice and here I'll add a moment root, I'll add uh, dash save in that way uh, npm will save uh, our dependency express uh, to our mm, uh, package dot, uh, dot uh, json file so now it must be okay let's reset upper row w like that and enter but uh, you see it has a side effect it has a side effect when you use the upper row key it's not uh, very convenient depth equal to zero it now must be okay now there, is, there are no errors and we have express uh, for 
14.1 installed. So we can start writing our application. We see what we have here. AOS. AOS, we don't have anything, so I'll start with Vim. Uh, index dot js will be our index file and now I what I'm going to use I will use uh, ECMAScript 6 because uh, Node.js uh, do you see what happens uh, probably I have uh, some uh, automatic uh, word com completion in uh, this tablet and it uh, changes my words so uh, we have to be careful or we have to switch off this auto completion or error correction um, before starting uh, to to do that. So I will create our application. I secure to require and what we will require we will require express like that. And now express returns a function, and uh, normally we, we put uh, we make a, an additional variable express, and after that we uh, execute that function. So I will not do that. I will just uh, execute this function now. So I have uh, the application already, and uh, let's write the first road to the application up dot get. And what you get mm, when you request the 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 index, I run the function. A simple function with uh, a request and a response, like that. Um, now, oops, where are my brackets? I open the function and uh, I will write uh, the response directly here. res dot send and I will send a string. Hello, not uh, js from Android. Okay. Let's close the string and close, uh, close the send like that. Now I have to close the function body. Also uh, the, the get body and uh, semicolon. And now I have to run the server. How to run it? Uh, up dot uh, listen listen I will set it uh, to run to listen port so uh, I don't have root access here so I cannot uh, listen uh, for ports less than uh, 1000 and I use uh, port 3000 like that I think it will be okay um, this is completely enough for our demonstration and I, I use again up arrow and uh, E for escape. Okay, this time everything is fine. Mm, like that, WQ. And we must be ready. So we can, we can run our Control L to clear the screen, and uh, now we can run our application. Not uh, index dot js. Uh, I hope our application is running. So uh, I will test it with uh, wget first. When you swap from left to right here in the terminal, it appears additional menu and uh, do you see new session from here I can start a new session this is actually a new terminal and here I use the wget to test my application so wget uh, I have set some options wget uh, let's be quiet so I don't need uh, 
to print the walk information and the other is I want to print the output on the screen on the screen instead of writing to the file I will set output and output to be mm, standard output so I I oops I use here a dash it's secure to standard output and let's write the address of our uh, server like that localhost localhost uh, and uh, the number of the port is 3000 let's run it hello not just from android it's okay so the our server is running and uh, I hope we can access it from our browser. Let's try it. Let's open the browser. Localhost local 3000. Hello. Yes, it is uh, working. And uh, that is all for that video. If you like it, please uh, subscribe to our channel for more. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.